hello you guys i am so excited to be filming today i've been off the channel for like five weeks which has been crazy i've never taken that long of a break in my 10 years on youtube and so i'm just i'm excited to be back on as many of you guys probably saw my last video i shared with you guys a little bit of a personal situation which is my insomnia and my anxiety which i can say I don't know how much it's progressed since I last talked to you guys about it. It is, it's challenging, it really is. But all I can say is that me keeping my mind off it is the best thing. So I'm not gonna dabble too much into it today. I swear to you guys, I feel like I've done like 20 makeovers in this space already, but something about reorienting, re what? reorienting the furniture in the living room got me really excited. But then when I took out all the Christmas stuff and the Christmas tree was gone and a lot of the decor was gone, it just felt empty. And I kind of was like, you know what? I have some ideas for the living room. So this is the fireplace and I love the fireplace. I love how it adds a focal point to the living room. It's an automatic focal point, but it's not focal enough. And I've always left it white like this because I've been able to add to it, kind of change up the style of it. And keeping it white is just like a simple way to make sure that it always kind of is cohesive with the space. However, it also makes it blend in so much. Like it blends in with the curtains, it blends in with the white background wall. Then I was thinking to myself, you know, what color should we do on the fireplace? And I went into my craft room. I have a ton of excess paint in there and I was pulling them all out, looking at all the colors. But then I kind of decided that I'm just gonna stick to black because the window trim in this entire space is black. And I loved when I added the black accents in here. It just amplified this space so much. And I kind of feel like a black fireplace would look so good in the living room. I always suggest going in with your wall color. I have some Chantilly lace, which is my wall color here. And I'm just gonna paint it along the kind of crack or I guess the separation of the paint and where we're gonna be painting. This is gonna essentially fill in any bleed areas. And then when we add our black to this section here, when we pull it up, anything that bleeds is gonna be the white, which is also the same color as the wall. So we're gonna have a nice clean line. This 100% was the right move for sure. This gives us that focal point we needed in between the couches, kind of just directs your eye against this wall here as you walk through this door. And I just think this looks absolutely incredible. I love the black. I think it's a perfect option. And I feel like it just makes it look more like a fireplace, whereas before it did, but it really blended in. So I'm gonna let this dry, then we're gonna apply a second coat and style it up. You guys, the fireplace is perfect. I still have both of the cabinets in here. This is the old Ikea hutch that I created, and this is the one I just did for Architectural Digest. If you guys haven't seen it, such a amazing moment in my life. I absolutely love that project so much. Probably gonna do a little bit of restyling on there, but I actually got a new rug for this space as well. So if you guys remember this one, it was the one that I had bought when I first moved into this apartment, and I just didn't really know if I wanted to actually use it in here, so I kept it in my little storage room. And now that fall's kind of over with, I thought it'd be nice to implement a new one in here. So I got a brand new rug from Laloy and Amber Interiors. Uh, I'm gonna go head downstairs and grab that. All right guys, rug is on the floor. 
but I'm not loving it. Um, it's just so much more blue than I thought. I don't know if you can kind of see that. It's very, very blue, but I'm gonna try my best to make it work because sometimes when I have like challenges like this, the room actually ends up turning out a lot better than I expected because it's like an unexpected rug I would have never chose and it just kind of works in the space. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can implement some pieces from my like little stock Lone Fox studio area. I have a lot of really cute thrift finds and vintage finds in there. I wanna pull them out and see if I can tie some of this together. Kind of into this basket I got at the thrift store. Jug. I just love this like big huge vase. It was it was actually turquoise blue before. I painted it to have like this brown and black effect to it. When it comes to styling a mantle, there really is no rhyme or reason to it. I always start with something on the wall usually, so like a wall art or a picture, normally in the center of the mantle, and then to the right and left sides, I add my larger pieces of decor and then fill in the middle section with books or any smaller decor pieces. I updated the mantle just a little bit. I actually opted for a new piece of art. Now this artwork I got at the thrift store probably like six, seven months ago, if you guys remember. I think I actually just posted it on Instagram stories, but I was just at a thrift store, came across it, it was 10 bucks and I bought it. And a lot of people actually had voted for me not to get it, but I think it's really pretty and I've never really gotten the opportunity to use it. So I'm gonna put it above the mantle there and I did some simple taper candles here with those kind of distressed DIY taper sticks that I shared with you guys. If you haven't seen that tutorial, it takes five minutes and they just look so much better than natural silver or like, you know, normal silver and then did a little jug over here, another DIY. And yeah, I just think this looks great. The apartment is coming along really, really nicely. I redid this little area over here and added that artwork that's always been there instead of that peacock mirror, just because I feel like it fit the vibe a bit better. And then we also did the mantle styling up there, and I just love how it is coming along. I do want to go ahead and just head over to Target. I think I want like one or two throw pillows and just maybe a couple of accessories for the table, and then we can work on the dining room. found some items I thought I would share them with you I got a couple of throw pillows this one right here which has a ruffle on it and it has just like a grid pattern this one has blue in it which is perfect for the rug I don't know if this style is gonna go and then this one right here so just three pillows just to swap out I also got this linen box which I thought I could use to put the remotes and stuff in I've been seeing this face everywhere from the new studio Mickey line and I just wanted it I think I'm gonna put it on maybe the coffee table or something and then I got two more packs of the beeswax candles which are my favorite tapers I just love these It's time to style the coffee table, which is one of my favorite parts, especially when I have a large coffee table to work with. First thing I'm gonna add is this really cool vase, obsessed with this, and then this kind of distressed vase like that, just right next to it like that. Another section that I want to create is a book section. I've been loving styling lately with open books, which I think is really nice because you can just kind of flip through them and it actually makes use of the coffee table book. I feel like a lot of times people don't actually look at them. Whereas if it's open, like people might, you know, flip through it, skim through it. I actually made this, you guys, in a ceramics class with McKenna. We did ceramics class together. You can see the little LF or maybe you can't on the bottom there. So cute. Costas right there. So we're just gonna pop that right there, add a little bit of height, but it doesn't obstruct your view from the person across from you.
All right, friends, what are we thinking of the behind the sofa throw? So originally with a throw blanket, you kind of put it on the front side of the sofa, but I thought for this one, because the back side of this couch is towards the dining room area, I thought it'd be really cute if it had some visual interest on the back side. So I actually laid the throw over the top of it and I'm letting the tassels kind of hang. This is actually a plaid throw from my online shop. It's finally back in stock. It's such a popular one and I'm obsessed with it because it has the blue and the brown and like the cream, which is kind of the palette that's in here at the moment. So I think I'm gonna leave this here but I'd love to know your guys's thoughts and then I also added just three pillows that kind of coordinated with those colors there all right guys so over here my plans are to get a planter that is substantially larger than the one that is currently here this is just one that I spray painted from Lowe's I want to get one that's like very very big that kind of fills up this area that has like a distressed like terracotta look to it I might try to DIY it myself and just get like a basic kind of ceramic pot at the hardware store so I'm probably gonna get that either tonight or tomorrow but that's my plans for this section is to create a really large pot I found a pot. I stopped by Lowe's uh, just as I was uh, getting some coffee this morning and I was like, I'm gonna stop in Lowe's and see if they have any just terracotta pots that I could DIY to achieve this look. This is kind of the look I wanted to get. And I walked in and saw this bad boy sitting right there in front of me. And I was like, oh my God, I need that. So I asked how much it was because there was no tag on it. The girl says it was 112, which was I thought was a decent price because the one that was just a little bit larger to the left of it, like literally like a hair larger, was 280. So I was kind of expecting it to be like 250. She said 112, but then I got to the register and told the girl at the register that the lady said it was 112. She gave it to me for $47 because she couldn't find the price tag of 112. So I got this plant pot for $47, you guys. I can fit inside of it. Like I can fit in the pot think uh almost <laughs> but the idea for this pot which maybe i'll give you guys a little look at it right here look how pretty see that there was no price tag there was like a sticker on the side but it doesn't have price on it i want this to take place of this one Good morning, everybody. We are starting out in the dining room today. This space is gonna have quite a few changes, which happened all over the course of a couple of days, honestly. Now, the first thing that I did in here was restyle the bookshelf, which I absolutely love. I just love how I played around with scale, added a little bit of color in there. Overall, I just really, really like the styling in there, and I think it's perfect because I, bought a new dining table. Now there was absolutely nothing wrong with my former dining table. It was the Article Seno dining table, which I loved so much. Had zero intentions of getting rid of it. No plans at all. But as I was scrolling through Instagram, there's an account I follow called Badlands Vintage. And she had posted this dining table that was a reclaimed wood table. I'll pop up a photo of it right here. And I was just blown away, you guys. I never have seen a piece of furniture where I was instantly like, I have to have that. I don't care how much it costs. I have been looking for a reclaimed wood table that didn't pull farmhouse 
but pulled like actual legit like reclaimed wood like a really unique one-of-a-kind piece and this table really did that for me and then I'm just kind of playing around with rugs in here this was the old rug that was in the living room before if you guys remember and I feel like it looks okay I just don't know if it's gonna look great with the table but yeah I am so excited about the new dining table coming I think it's gonna just add such a fun element in here and I'm hoping that my current dining chairs that I have will kind of play on that table and I don't have to get new ones that's not really the plan and something else I actually did this morning which I want to share with you guys was I actually put back on the door and I'm actually going to be giving it a coat of that copper kettle paint which is on the wall here just so it all coordinates Okay guys, I'm doing a little change again. I painted the door and I just kind of have been sitting with these rugs for about two hours and neither of them are working for me. Like I can't picture the table and I know the table's extremely heavy. So I wanna have a rug down that I don't have to, you know, switch maybe in a week or so because it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. And I was just looking at Ikea to see what they had. And I remember that I used this rug, if you guys remember, in Marco's apartment and I love it. I think it's really simple, it's clean, it's minimal. I kind of feel like a bit of a lighter color will look nice in here. So I'm probably gonna end up heading to Ikea right now and grabbing that before the table's delivered and then probably just listing both of these rugs online. Oh, hello. This is just my new dining table. That weighs 800 pounds. Good morning guys, it is the next day and as you can see the table is here. I am so so excited about this so I picked up this table which I kind of mentioned to you guys yesterday from Badlands Vintage on Instagram and she was able to deliver it like the next day which I didn't even know was a possibility and they brought it to me yesterday the guy's like I'm outside with it so I go outside and I asked how much it weighed and he's like oh only 800 pounds and I was like that's great and so they had four people moving it it was definitely a challenge but they got it up here I'm hoping it doesn't break through the floor um crossing your fingers has been replaced as you can see I did some spackle on the left there just patching up that hole and then I placed the mirror here because what I'm actually gonna do um, I had the artwork here before but it just really wasn't fitting the vibe for me I got these from World Market which are taper candle holders if you guys remember I used these in Marco's apartment and I think I'm just gonna do two on either side of the mirror just to give a little bit of detail and interest and I feel like it's perfect for the dining room vibe A lot of you guys know this is one of my favorite DIY projects. I loved creating this. It's one of my favorite pieces in the apartment, but I do feel like the style of it doesn't particularly match the style that I'm going for in here. And I've been seeing a lot of stained cane lately that I have been obsessed with. Like when you kind of add a stain to it, it just deepens it, gives it some depth and dimension. And I think it's gonna look really, really nice with all the dark tones in here. I'm just kind of a little bit over the yellowish, more natural tone of cane. And I've really been into those stained looks. So uh, let's see what we can do.
All right, guys, I feel like the dining room and living room are completely done. I am so, so in love with the makeovers in these spaces. And I know I've been making over these spaces quite often on the channel. I always get comments being like, why are you still making over your dining room? Why are you still redoing your living room? But I feel like with my spaces, it's always an ever changing space, especially where I'm going to live for the rest of my life. It's going to be changed every like couple of months. That's just how I am as a person. I've always been like that. Even when I'm younger, I love changing around my room and just kind of redecorating and restyling. And I also feel like I've really been inspired lately with color. And I wanted to just practice a little bit in my own apartment before going into another space and doing anything a little bit more daring. So I hope that you guys loved this makeover. And I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys the reveal of these two two spaces right now. I really wanted to play around with natural tones, but also incorporating bits of color here and there. And I really love the way that I implemented it through the rug, through candlesticks, bits of decor, pillows, just little elements here and there that draw in colors from larger aspects and just kind of place them throughout the room and make it look more intentional. really working with two focal points so I wanted to make both of those shine one being the table that we just got and then one being the bookcase I love how all the elements of the bookcase kind of bring in this vintage antique vibe which kind of coordinates back to the table I feel like this space really meshes well together and I like how the white really brightens everything up but we still have that pop of color on the wall which just adds a bit of warmth 